Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by Tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at something very cool you can do in Photoshop, or really image ready, but we're going to do a little bit of prep work on the image in Photoshop, and that is adding video to your Photoshop documents, and then we can save it out as a .gif file so it's fully animated. And you'll see exactly how that works in just a second. But essentially, you're just embedding video in a Photoshop file, and it's very cool. And here I've got an example. I've got this TV, and I've placed the video of these fireworks uh, exploding in it. I'm going to preview the document. You can see it's just video on this TV screen. So that's very cool. And we're going to learn exactly how to do that. I'm going to minimize this file here. I'm going to hop over to Photoshop. Like I said, we got a little bit of prep work to do in Photoshop. I'm going to hop over to Bridge and grab this blank TV JPEG file. This is just a JPEG. And I'm going to go to Image, Image Size. We're going to reduce the image size to about 500 wide by 300 tall. Zoom it up to 100%. Now, we are in Photoshop, not image ready right now. I'm going to come over to the Layers palette, hold down the Alt or Option key, and double click the background layer. It is now a fully editable layer. I grab the Magic Wand tool, leave the tolerance at about 32, make sure Contiguous is checked on, and just click the center of the screen, hit the Delete key to knock it out, and come up here to Select, Deselect. Just like that, we've done all the prep work we need to for this image. At the bottom of the toolbar, you've got this little button here, and that is the Edit in Image Ready button. Click that, it pops our image over into Image Ready. Now we need to get our video. I'm going to move this file. Matter of fact, I'm going to minimize it because I don't want to accidentally drag the video into that file. You can just go to File, Open, and navigate your hard drive, but I have the video right here in Bridge, so I can just drag it right from Bridge into Image Ready. So I'm going to click and hold that .mov file. I'm going to drag it in. Actually, before I drag it in, if you don't have video, there's many, many places you can get video from on the web. But I got this clip of fireworks exploding from this site right here, freestockfootage.com. They've got a lot of very cool stuff here. Um, basically, the way it works is you can get the low-resolution clip for free. There's medium-resolution clips and high-resolution clips for sale, so those are not free but you can still get the low resolution ones for free so I have this low resolution version of the fireworks clip which is on that site here and it's a .mov file so I'm just gonna drag it right in now like I mentioned a second ago I should minimize that blank TV image so I don't accidentally drag it into that document so I'm just gonna drag this into image ready now this dialog box pops up which is the range to import dialog box and basically what it is is image ready asking me now what part of the video do you want me to actually bring in and by default it's set to bring it in from beginning to end I don't want to do that though that would make a huge file because this is a few seconds long as clip I'm going to hit selected range only and what this does is it just basically grabs a portion of the video and cuts away the rest of it and you're left with just the part you want and the way it works is you just hold down shift and you drag the slider and then you let go when you have everything you want so I'm gonna start about right here just as this firework here is exploding I'm gonna hold down my shift key and I'm gonna drag all the way out till here it gets dark and there's nothing really exploding I just let go of my mouse let go of the shift key and it's only gonna import that area that's highlighted down there on the little playhead progress bar so hit OK and you can see image ready is importing it and here is our movie file now let me grab the animation palette if you don't have your animation palette open, the animation palette is available under Window Animation. Notice that what ImageReady has done is it's simply taken our movie file and it's converted it to frames. So we have your 88 frames. And if I hit play here, you're going to see it's going to play the movie file just like that. So it's really just that easy. We've imported this video. But yeah, it's that easy to import the video, but now what do we do with it? Well, we need to take this and put it in the image with the TV. But just taking this and putting it into the image of the TV is a lot, lot harder than it sounds. It will actually be easier to take the TV image and put it into this image. Because, number one, we have all of these frames, but number two, let's check out the Layers palette. Over here in the Layers palette, we have 88 layers. One layer for every frame. And basically the way these frames are working is, let's say layer 11, or frame 11, excuse me. Basically, every other layer is shut off, and layer 11 is turned on. Then for frame 12, just the next layer. 
So we would have to move all of those layers over and all these frames and everything. It's easier just to do it this way. We know that we resized our TV image to be 500 pixels wide. So I'm going to minimize that again. So I'm going to select this and we're going to go to canvas size and we are going to change the width to 500 and the height to 335 which I believe is what the height was before. We're going to hit OK. And what's just happened is the canvas of our Photoshop document here has expanded and it's giving us more room. So now I can just grab this TV blank file, grab the move tool, I can just go up here or hit yeah, grab the move tool and just drag it right over into the .mov file. Hold down shift when you let go though and it will center it right there in the middle. Now one little problem here is our video is on top of the TV. Because we check out the layers palette again. The TV layer has been placed almost all the way at the bottom. We just want to drag it all the way up to the top. Just drag it all the way up here. There is a hotkey for just quickly shifting up layers, but I'm basically at the top here, so I'm not going to use it. And there we go. We're all the way at the top. So now the TV is sitting over the video, and here's what it looks like. I'm going to preview the document. It's going to generate the optimized file. And there you go. Video inside of a Photoshop document. It's really that easy. And as you get more and more used to doing it, it's just going to get easier. All right, now, you can't just save this as a .psd file and expect to use it anywhere. What we have to do is come up here to save optimized as. But before we do that, we actually need to grab the optimization palette or the optimize palette. And we want to save this as a .gif file and we want to give it as many colors as possible. And that in this case is 256 colors. So we're just going to be saving this as an optimized GIF file when we come up here to hit save optimized as. And it's going to ask us, where do you want to save it? We can just save it here. We'll just say TV with video dot gif file and saving it saving it saving it I'm gonna minimize it I'm going to grab Adobe bridge and I just saved it in here and here's TV with video dot gif and I can right click on this and hit open with let's say Firefox 2.0 previewing it in my browser and you can see it works so just like that we have our Photoshop document with video in it it's really that easy and that's all there is to it. So I hope you learned something from this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.